Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This week we fill all of the osmosis holes and remove our biggest seeker. Let's get into the video. We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Just thought I'd give you a little update. You know where we are, we're hard at work on the boat and there's been one key ingredient for me and that's been the mud water. I started drinking mud water nine months ago and I've given up coffee completely and I'm sleeping better, I'm waking up good and I uh, definitely have got a favorite and that's the OG blend. Uh, that's pretty much my go-to in the morning. Thing is full of good ingredients that make you feel good. It's an absolute game changer for me. I'm gonna leave it at that guys. I got a busy day ahead. I'm gonna finish my morning mud water and uh, get into some work. See you on the other side. They're only just like as thick as your fingernail, but a little dab of epoxy and by the time we put a coat over this, it's gonna look like a million bucks. Underneath the water, underneath the paint. We yay! Okay, we got some three holes out and then we've just got some pipes that are there. Still usable. Temporary. Temporary. So I think he's got all but one skin fitting out, right? He just keeps getting distracted by these little holes. Does she have the skills of my plastering father? I don't know. He's been trusted with this job for the first time. And I think you're doing a great job, baby girl. Has been entrusted with a critical job today. She's still in the pressure. The concentration. Look at that concentration face. She doesn't feel the pressure, our ladies and gentlemen. This one is as cool as a cucumber. And she does a bloody good job at everything she does, so it's probably why she can be so cool. As you can see, we're still in the hull. We thought we'd finish, and every single day we come down here and Lee finds more and more. Just can't stop. <laughs> We're just trying to get every last um, little bit of bubbling, blistery, osmosis-y looking thing so that we don't have any trouble in the future, obviously, but it's tiring. It's like Groundhog Day. We, every day we think we're finished, he washes the hole down and we think we're going to paint and more start weeping, so. Hindsight, we should have just stripped more down with the planer and then re-glassed. We'll just keep going. <laughs> Gonna wipe it all down and fill it with epoxy. Master epoxyer is here to save the day. Max, I don't need to do more filling of holes. Doing the same shit every day. <laughs> it's gonna stop soon, right? <laughs> Go back in the water soon, right? <gasps> Deep breaths. It's a lot of time and effort, but we know it will be worth it. Next step after the holes are filled and sanded back is painting on the epoxy barrier coat. So dad, after they filled the holes today, applied the tape on the waterline ready for painting. Uh, this line gonna take a minute. Are you gonna do the line 19 times as well? Hey. 
Yeah. You're going to do the line 18 times as well? Yeah. I really want our anti-scar to be that colour. Yeah, why isn't it that? Why didn't we get that colour, babe? Or that colour of the tape. Yeah. I have to talk to Turtle Bay about that. This is uh, Lee's way of seeing if it's straight. Telling Bella to stand up on the bikes. And look at the line. But I don't know how to see. There's one great thing about Lee. He's a perfectionist. He likes to do things properly. It's also really annoying. Because he's going to spend a lot of time on this line. Three days later. All the valves have been restored thanks to my wire brushing skills and the final through hole is about to be removed. It's been painful, the bottom of the boat. We have had so many little blisters and they're only little. Um, in hindsight, I should have just stripped back another mill or so and then because the blisters were only so thin or they weren't very deep into the glass and then I could have re-glassed the boat probably quicker than what it has been to patch. But anyway, lessons learned. I should have uh, just never planned a boat before, so the DIY amateur uh, advice, if there's a lot, maybe plane back and re-glass. It's probably easier. It sounds more daunting, but easier. Uh, so this is the last through hole. It's custom, it's stainless, it's, I don't know how long it's been on the boat. I doubt whether it was uh, in the original build. So hopefully there's not too much going on around here that they've sealed it all up properly. There's a lot of corrosion electrolysis right next to the weld. So really water's seeping in behind there. As you can see, the bolts, are, there's two bolts missing there, whether someone's tried to unbolt this or whether they've just started breaking off over the years. So I'm not even gonna try and undo these. I'm just gonna knock these off with the die grinder. I can just push that out instead of trying to work underneath the box and undo all that. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of electrolysis there. It's probably leaking. Bolts are snapped. It's stainless steel. I'm going to sort of customise it here. This is a custom flange made to suit the hull shape. I'm just going to build this out with epoxy and a block and standardise it so it just takes a standard 3 inch fitting. Look at that. a big blister next to it too. This is outrageous. This is day 500 at filling holes. How many times have you mixed up epoxy, Bell Bell? Fucking too many. Too many times. We're done. This is it. No more. Finished, Cubbies. Apparently new boats don't have problems. I don't know why. Wouldn't just get a new one. Oh, what? Look, we're all down here working. And what's going on there? Making you lunch, mate. Barbecue's looking a bit sad there, like the bottom tray's falling off, but the inside's falling apart. Oh, so as bad as it looks. Um, it looks alright. I thought that was going to be all rotten. No, it's all solid. They're just, they're really wet blisters, but they're only just like a, a mill deep. Um, just that top laminate. I, like I said, I feel if I just shaved another mill off, I would have saved half of nearly all of this filling. But we didn't. But, uh, future reference, not that we want to ever do this again. Yeah, so there's three blisters all little blisters. Where That's pretty good in the core of it. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. <laughs> but uh, nothing's gone through yet. Only but a matter of time. it was only a matter of time. You can see there, it's like it's really just riding on the back of the world. It's one of those things. Peace of mind. Don't know what we'll engineer in there yet, but we'll. This is obviously a custom fit to suit the hull, so we may have to build a block out to just put a, a standard through hole in. And that was the final through hole coming out? Yeah. Went back in now, I'd say, given the size of that hole, I'd probably say maybe half hour and she'd be on the bottom. <laughs> There's also eight other holes. 
Hence why we've uh, decided to do this, regardless of how this was, it was just sort of a peace of mind to, of all the through holes, it's one you don't want to fail, one to be on top of with maintenance. Make sure it's grounded, make sure it's sealed, make sure it's solid, so that's not the sort of hole you want in your boat. Next step. Next step. We have a couple more little blisters just next to us. Oh my God. That's about it. I think we've, I think we've pretty much nailed it. Um, I keep washing it, washing it with fresh water, and that sort of purges out any of the um, crap. And uh, I've been high and dry for months now, so the whole hull has dried out beautifully. If we wanted to be pedantic. We could, we could uh, coat all this with a, um, a fairing compound and then block it, but we ain't doing that. We're just gonna seal it up and call it done. Alright, we finally stopped with the holes. And you want to explain what you're doing? It looks like you're plastering the bug. <laughs> yeah, so I feel a little bit deprived of the old days where you used to put mud on the walls. Back in the day. Actually did a bit of plastering. Everyone asked what Lee did before. We lived on the boat and one of those things was drywall plaster. And those skills have come in handy so much. <laughs> yeah, so much over the last nine years. Guess how for one had a lot of plastering. Yeah, smoothing at the hull because we planed it, we've grinded it, we've done a lot of hacking to get rid of the osmosis. Yeah. This is the final touches. Yeah, there's lots of little pitting and divots and whatnot, so we thought before we paint we'd just uh, give it a little fair, not too much. You can see the lines from the planer, so we'll just make it look tidy, you know. What are you going to do when you're finished? Plenty to do. A lot of sea cocks to get back in. There's still a little, a couple little, uh, couple little bits of deck rot. Lost my mixer. I tried and Mum was like laying there, so I joined her. Sanding the whole side of the boat. This side is finished. Looks like a zebra. Are you happy with the results? Oh, look. Being a plasterer by trade for 10 years, no. Only reason I could fare the whole boat, but. It's time and money and they're two things we don't really want to waste at the moment. Oh, it's come up alright, like you can see where it's filled in the uh, divots from the planer. But it's at a stage now, if you really want to make it smart, you would, you'd fare it, but I think it'll be okay without it. Final job before we paint the bottom. Yes? Yeah, but at least it's had an epoxy over the whole lot. We've sort of sealed it up. Got to draw the line somewhere. I've drawn it. Okay, well, you saw earlier in the video that he said he wasn't even gonna do this next step, so we'll see what happens. We did run out of epoxy and fairing compound yesterday, so he's got a little bit on this side to go. So he's done all down there. He's just gonna do the bow. Today is Thanksgiving for all those Americans. What have you got to be thankful for today, honey? It's grateful that I've got through half the side of sanding. Well, I think you've done a great job. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next week with some more boat jobs on the hard stand so we can get that out there on the ocean. I think it's time to switch it up. It's my turn for skating. You're right, you're gonna sand the rest of the boat now. What Jimmy, he doesn't like the carvers. I don't like it, no, it feels weird. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to ride it like you're surfing that skate. I like the old school. Alright guys, well that's another episode. Stay tuned. Once again, thank you very much for all your support. Oh, it's painful, but we will get through this sanding at some stage and start some fun projects.